Hey everyone, welcome to our channel. And I wanna say welcome back to myself because I have been out for two weeks with some sort of virus. I don't really know what it is, but some sort of virus and it kicked my butt. So we're just getting back into the groove and doing some grass cutting. And we actually took on a job from a friend of ours. We said yes to some babysitting. Now let me show you what you're babysitting. Of course, you could probably tell that by the thumbnail. Yes, they're goats. So this is Brooklyn, who's the mama, and Glacier is the baby boy here who gets into everything. I have never been around goats in my entire life. I've pet them at a petting zoo, but I've never taken care of them at all. A friend of mine reached out to me, he was going on vacation, and he needed me to take care of this mama and this baby, and I'll tell you why in a second. But I said, yeah, sure, why not? Let's give it a test run. See if it's a good, you know, fit for us, for our family, a good test run for our family, and see what happens. Oh boy, there's a lot going on with these goats, let me tell you. So the reason our friend asked us to take care of these goats is because this mama is nursing. And for some odd reason, the baby will only nurse out of one side. So, uh, I have to milk her so she doesn't get engorged. Now. Not knowing anything about goats, I don't know if that's correct or not or whatever. He just asked me to do it and I'm doing it for him. So I milk her once a day and we'll do that for you. And you can critique my technique all you want because I've only been doing it for maybe four or five days now. Um, so I'm gonna milk her and we give the milk to our dog and the cats. Now I know what you're saying. Well, why don't you drink that milk? Well, we don't drink dairy milk in our family, so that's part of the reason why. But uh, the baby is getting enough uh, milk from the one side, from the mama, and she doesn't, I guess, need any more. She's total, or he is totally healthy, and um, there's just way too much. She gets so huge, it's like having a basketball underneath of her. So not knowing anything about goats, I've heard that you can just let the milk uh, reabsorb on whatever side it is that the baby isn't feeding. And I don't know why this baby isn't, will just feed on the left side of, of the goat or of the mama. It's very odd, but I'm just gonna continue to milk her for my friend and let him deal with it when he gets back from vacation. Um, but it's really no big deal, although it's kind of kicked my butt the last couple of days recovering uh, from the virus. You, you licking me? Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you. Actually, never being around goats, I didn't know they were this affectionate. And this, this mama is really, really nice. She's really tame, docile. She likes to be pet. And uh, it's, really, it's really cool. So, I don't know, maybe there's some goats in our future. As you can see, the baby gets into everything. On top of the log splitter and chewing on the metal. Oh, come on. So my daughters have been going absolutely bonkers. They spend so much time out here with the, uh, the goats, it's hysterical. They never spend that much time with the dog, the cats, the chickens, anymore. I guess everything is super cool when it's new. But my oldest daughter is doing great with milking. She is very good at it and she likes to do it, which is cool. The four year old, she can't do it yet. And yes, they're already asking me, Dad, can we get our own goats? I don't know, this is the trial run. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to milk a goat because every one of you knows how to milk a goat better than me. So I'm just gonna show you me milking the goat and uh, see how many laughs I get in the comment section below. Here. 
So we let her up onto the goat milking contraption, or whatever you want to call it, uh, with some food, and she's content. She's in there right now. Now, I was told that I need to tie her back legs together because she likes to kick a lot. All right, here we go. I'm gonna start to milk this goat, and uh, I'll show you how I do it. Here's the engorged side on this side. It is extremely full, and I did empty it all just last night. Um, so I've got my fingers around the end of the teat like this, where I pinched it, and with the other fingers, I'm gonna push the milk out. Ugh. But I'm not great at it. <laughs> not be making her feel too good. She's lifting this leg here every time I do it. But I'm gonna do the best I can to help her out. It's really hard for me to keep a grip. I gotta use two hands reposition the milking hand every single time. Oh, yep, she's kicking a little because it probably hurts her. I don't know. Maybe you guys can give me some advice. I'm sure you will. I know YouTube is like that. <laughs> all right, all you goat farmers, let me know if I'm doing this correct at all and if I should even be doing it or if I just should leave her alone with this huge uh, side of her udder right here and the other one is tiny because that's where that's where the, the kid drinks out of this one's tiny this one's massive i don't know what to do with this girl so she didn't seem to kick as much this time which is awesome which, which means maybe i'm getting better at doing it and you can see that uh the two sides of her udder right here are more even and they, they, it looks like she's not engorged anymore. And we got some decent milk. I don't know, it's probably a quart in there, give or take. What you doing, mama? You all, you all done? Are you all done? You wanna get out? Or are you still eating? You wanna go get hooked back up? You wanna get out of this thing? Are you all done? Oops, I forgot to undo your legs. Don't poop on me, Brooklyn. She won't go anywhere. <laughs> That's one thing I've learned about goats. You can't make them go anywhere that you want them on a leash. Come on, let's go. What are you waiting for? Well, there you go. That's what we are doing on our homestead right now as I'm recovering and taking care of my buddy's goats. But boy, we've got a lot of other stuff that we've got to get moving on because I honestly haven't gotten much done in the last two weeks. I feel like I've fallen behind, but I know it was really important to rest. And honestly, I had about this much energy to do anything. We hope you all had a great 4th of July, a great Independence Day. God bless the USA. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Bye.